Luffy, ambition, king of the rappers, the mission. I What's up, gang? It's Marauda Music with Three Piece TCG, Big Beard TCG, for real this time, and 2D, your boys bringing it, that RP Luffy gang, where y'all at? You know what I'm saying? I know this is what we've been waiting for, we've been waiting for this update. Uh, fortunately and unfortunately, when it came out, I was already jet setting to PR to celebrate my gorgeous wife's birthday. Um, all the while, though, every time I took a dump, you better believe I was on my phone playing the shit out of this game and uh, sharpening up this deck. Now, before we get into this uh, deck profile matches, I ask that you like, really smash that like button, subscribe, and comment down below, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What would you be doing differently? Because I really do enjoy the conversations we have in there and the back and forth and everything, the sharpening, if you will. Uh, so anyhow, we have RP Luffy. Now, I feel like an 09 is getting the support that we've been waiting for forever. You know what I mean? To, to like definitively put it into the uh, top tier. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, RP Luffy, activate main once per turn. If your Dawn is, has zero, if your field has zero Dawn or if your board has eight or more Dawn, add one Dawn from your Dawn deck active. Essentially, if you're at zero, you go to one Dawn active. If you're at eight or more, you go to nine dawn active for free. Amazing, right? Cool. This is wonderful. Give me 14 of it, right? Awesome. Well, now this deck list right here looks like the most hodgepodge fucking shit that I've ever put together. I can explain. I can explain. And I will. Okay, so for starters, uh, this deck does a little poppy. We do a little pop city here and there, right? Uh, and it's about... One, abusing the fact that we're a 6K leader, okay? So a lot of things are minusing power, minusing power, you know what I'm saying? We're giving life, and we're doing a little poppy, a little pop, you know what I'm saying? So we'll get into it. But so Atama for this one is, we're not running any searchers, there's no searching, so it's really about all about, about what we draw, right? For this reason, Otama's perfect, because she's a 2K counter. And she can also uh, give one of our opponents minus 2,000 uh, power during the turn. So she serves a purpose in certain scenarios. Just keep that in mind. Cool. Uh, Edward Newgate. Uh, on play. You know, your leader gets plus 2K. And then, um, well, that the, the rest of that effect doesn't really affect us, right? But Dawn 2, when attacking K up to one of your opponents with 3,000 or less power, you know, you can use that. That's, that, that's classic, right? Cool. But uh, he makes us an 8K leader preserves us and then he's a 10k body that they got to deal with just great right i almost don't have to explain these cards um ray lee uh on play choose up to one of your opponent's characters until the end of your opponent's next turn give one minus 3k the other two minus two and at, after this ko somebody with 3000 or lower that can be used with that etc you get the vibes Okay, now we're going into Shanks. This is the fucking card we've been waiting for. What's badass about Shanks is playing Shanks on the field. If we can rush to 10 and play Shanks out, bro, he essentially makes our leader a 7K because everybody's minus one at that point, right? So if with everybody being minus one, our leader being a 6K, and he has rush, you can guarantee that we're going to fuck shit up. You know what I'm saying? Even if they can block they're going to have to they're basically going to have to say goodbye to that character unless they want to come out of um unless they want to come out of extra cards so shanks is just a value machine uh i'll get into the ratios a little bit later but i just kind of want to go over each card and why why they're here uh okay so yasap usap daddy um up to one of your leader gains plus 1000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn on play again he is a pit stop of value and uh, sustainability for us we play him out one he's not even a dead card which is crazy with the 10k with the 1000 counter i'm thinking of dragon ball uh anyways it's crazy that we get to go to seven for a turn you know quick little pit stop we get to swing for seven they got to come out of extra counter or take a life and in the meantime it costs them that much more to swing on us i mean it's just amazing and then of course don one when attacking one of your opponent's uh, characters gets minus 1,000 for this turn. That can go with this. That can go with this. You know, there's a bunch of stuff that that can play with. But anyway, great synergy. Great card. Um, this is our ramp card. You know, Bon Clay. Never want to say goodbye to Bon Clay. 
Uh, but yeah, so add up to one Don from your Don deck is active. He's what we play on our the second turn if we're going second. Um, and of course, the fact that we get to get them out there early, we're not swinging with them until they play one of their bigs, and then we swing back with that same energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Bond Clay matches energy, so how are we going to act today, right? Uh, that's great. And also, he gets a lot of aggro, so people want to pop him before they would pop somebody else. So that's cool, too, you know? Uh, that causes them to spend on. Uh, we're still sticking with Zoro Joro only on three, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but he is our ramp card. We play him on our second turn if we're going first, and that's that. Now, here is a card to talk about. This is a new card that I have not played in my list uh, as of yet. I don't think I was in the OP09 for the uh, the whatever Luffy. But anyhow, uh, we got Shiki. Now, um, Shiki is a lot of things. It's a two for one, which we're not playing it for that stat line. Uh, 1K counter. Uh, it's a blocker and on play. If your board has eight or more Don, draw one card, then discard one card from your hand. We love it because we love to see cards. We love to filter our hand. We love to fix it up and ship it out, right? Shiki is great for that. We get to eight so fast that we get to play them out real quick and in a hurry. And it also works in tandem with Charlotte Linlin. Now, this is a great card to play on 10 if you can. But we'll get into that. Nine for nine, no counter, no drinks, can't do it. Uh, but her on play, Don minus one, trash one card from your hand, add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life. Then place up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less to the top or bottom of its owner's life face up. Here's the thing about that. Unless this whole thing is messed up because, you know, I haven't touched 08 yet, but unless this whole thing is messed up, the second half of that, then place up to one of your characters. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. The game doesn't make you do that. If that is an error, then that needs to be addressed. But as of right now, you don't have to. So what we'd like to do is play them out on two, or excuse me, play them out on a 10 Dawn turn, right? We have one Dawn left over. We minus one Dawn. We trash a card. Then guess what? We got two Dawn active after using our leader's ability. We play out Shiki. We just got an 11 Dawn play where we got to play out a nine for nine, uh, we got to add a life, which is fucking huge, which is essentially drawing a card. And then we got to get out a blocker who is also drawing us a card and discarding a card. And not to mention, if we do choose to use her ability, we're getting a six or less and putting it on the top or bottom of their deck. If it's a six with no counter, I'm putting that shit at the bottom. And I just know that when I'm trying to mathematician my shit and figure out what I'm going to do next or how I'm going to go for lethal. I know their last life card has zero fucking counter. So it's a, it's a non-existent card. Great. Okay. Sanji is here because, uh, for seven for seven. So he swings perfect into the majority of the cast, uh, of leaders and on play you may return one or more of your Dawn cards. We're just returning one. In this case, he gains rush, then rest up to one of our opponents, six or lower cost characters. So that's what we like. We like him to turn a blocker sideways and go for it. Or turn somebody sideways and then swing it to them. Especially if we have um, Shanks out, everybody's pretty touchable at that point. So that's why we're running two of them. I'll get into the ratios. Um, Eustace Captain Kid. Seven for eight. Uh, on play, you know, the minus one, uh, your leader gets plus one, makes our leader seven. Uh, when he swings, minus one, leader gets seven. Well, the reason why we really like him, and I might bump him up to more, but for right now, I'm fucking with this ratio, is because when we get Shanks out here, Shanks is a huge commitment, huge commitment. And you realize that uh, when you're not in the right position to drop Shanks, which is why we want to ramp early and get him up there ahead of time, right? Because this motherfucker will still get popped. And if we don't have counter... I've done this to a lot of people. I've had, it hasn't happened as much to me because I am cognizant of it and I'm really looking out for it. But it's funny how when you drop Shanks or when your opponent drops Shanks, Shanks swings. Shanks is, you know, especially if you got your 10 drops and your nine drops out there, he's very touchable and very ko bull. Like you can attach, you know, four Dawn into this swing and then, oh, they, they get caught with their pants down. They ain't got no Dawn for you. You see what I'm saying? So what we like to do here is we like to, you know, we have him out uh, after we play him. We like to swing with him. 
uh, get a Don back, and then you know we got an event, um, etc. So I'll get into that. But yes, that's why he's here. Uh, Uso Uso Hachi and Miso Horny, uh, three for three. We're never playing him for a stat line, but we do like the two K counter, and we love the fact that on play, if we have eight or more Don, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. That's your Borsalino. That's your Sabo, uh, etc. We we've talked about that. That's Queens. That's kid blockers. He just just about every blocker in the game with the exception of fucking bitch ass Blackbeard uh, and that blue blocker that nobody runs. I completely forgot their name, but you know, for the most part, uh, also Luffy, but for the most part, yeah. Okay. Uh, now it's uh, to die for. This has got to be one of my single favorite cards in the game. I mean, just, yo, a, a ugly as sin, but I mean, when you're that enthusiastic for the facial, yeah, you know I mean, uh, anyways, uh, it's to die for and uh, add up to one Dawn from your Dawn deck is active. Then if your opponent has a character with 6,000 power or more in play, add up to one Dawn card from your deck instead of is active. That's right. Another you can get a two for one special. Now, typically when we play this card, it's on our first turn or excuse me, on our second turn. So there they don't have anything out there. Uh, unless they like Reju had some perfect play and they got somebody, you know, they were able to get out e chi chi. But either way, uh, you know, we would capitalize on that with ramping two for one. So yes, and then the trigger is add one. Um, this is also perfect discard fodder for Charlotte Linlin and really anything that asks you to discard a card. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, great ramp card. Love to see it. Love the enthusiasm. My God. Uh, now we split, some people run four of this, uh, and none of this or four of this and none of this. I kind of split them and I'll tell you why the card doesn't come up for me as often as you would think, as in like, I'm not using it that often. I'm going to go ahead and talk about these, these two at the same time. Uh, so they're both minus two Dawn, right? Um, and this one basically, uh, very important real quick. They both have the same trigger of adding a Dawn to your deck as active, which is awesome. But uh, minus two Dawn, K up to one of your opponent's 6,000 power or lower characters. Okay, cool. And this one is rest one of your opponent's five cost five or lower characters, then draw a card. Cool. Uh, and that one does not draw your card. So anyways, uh, I was running four of these and none of these, right? And the reason why is because... I feel like when it comes, this is a closer card for me. This is something that I'm using to close out the game and I'm just using it to rest a five cost or lower. You got a lot of cards in this game. A lot of the most significant blockers, especially in the color of black are, you know, unkoable. You got your Sabo, you got your Borsalino, right? Well, this card's going to turn them sideways and give them a fucking, you know, two in the pink, one in the stink for their trouble. And you're going to get to swing at lead. You're going to go for lethal that, that turn. You see what I'm saying? Uh, same thing with Uso Achi, right? Uh, but anyhow, so that's why I'm running this. Because regardless of the cost, regardless of the, whatever the situation, I can play this card and get and turn a blocker sideways. Uh, and then, of course, well, when we get to another deck, I can actually, you know, rest people who are much higher. But that's another story. I'm no storyteller. Um, anyhow, Gum Gum Lightning is the same thing, but minus, uh, or same thing, but KO 6,000. So that's the thing. So here and there, we might, I might play him out, right? Minus somebody from nine to six, you know, that's minus three, that's at six. And then I could play this card. If I'm on my 10 Don turn, I could play this card in the same turn and KO that card. Also, since I'm minusing two, I drop down to eight. I use their ability. I'm back to nine with one of those Don being active. And then I, Got one active for homeboy, and we'll talk about that. So that's why I'm keeping him because I feel like he's relevant in this deck. In this particular deck, I feel like he's relevant. Uh, so now let's get on to the gum gum giant. Don minus two, you may trash one card from your hand. If your leader has straw hat crew type, give up to one of your leader or characters plus 4k. Uh, this battle, then draw two cards. Okay, so. I mean, that's our new that's our new radical beam. You don't see radical beam anywhere here. And the reason why is because this filters our hand. This is like amazing, dude. This is amazing. It gives you plus four. So we go up to 10 being our leader. We trash one of these cards that we're not using, right? Uh, it can it can be even bond clay. It can, it can be anything. It can be whatever you want. 
uh, you got too many of these, whatever. Um, and then you, you go up to 4K and you draw two cards and that gives you another chance to, you know, draw into some counter, do what you got to do. Um, so notes about this deck is it is running a bunch of cards that can be bopped. Uh, we're not running the, what's his name? We're not running Roger in this list. Um, I did a lot of play testing with Roger and what ultimately happened was I preferred this play, believe it or not, than just the inevitability of a 13k swing. So, um, I do have some games with that. I might just upload them onto here and just, you know, kind of show you guys what I've, what I've had for my phone. But uh, let's go ahead and get into some matches now. I feel like I've talked about this deck enough and we can see how it works. So I'll catch you on the other side. All right. We immediately run into our fucking one of our first Nemesis, Buggy. And they chose to go second. We're going first. We are not seeing the ramps that we need. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And <laughs> the enthusiasm is real. All right, so we got us to die for. The next one's going to be uh, for her to KO, you know, for her to trash or to ramp again. I can do what I want. All right, so we're going to play this out. Gain an active Dawn. Go ahead and swing seven. Give them that push. Y'all know what time it is. Okay, they got six in hand. They're going to give us, ooh, a two and a pudding. Don't mind if I do. It probably means they got another pudding. We shall see. Only time will tell. Okay, I like what you've done here. Um, do I want to take a life just yet? I can easily block out. Y yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and block out here. And just thank them for wasting their time. Uh, let's go ahead and play out this card. And let's swing big to their face again. Okay, they did block that first one, I forget. So now they're not going to swing like that again because it's going to take a lot of development on their end and I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm, I'm free from putting at this point. Okay. All right, so in this juncture, I have this. Um, on KO, if your leader has whatever in their hand. Okay, okay, I like what you've done here. Um, I can make us a seven or I can just get my first big body out and gain us a life. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and swing seven at them. See what they do with that. Cool. Now, uh, I did use my ability already to ramp up. So when I use this, I will go down to nine, but I am going to go ahead and play this. Uh, select one dawn to return, select this card to trash. I am going to gain a life and I'm going to go ahead and put this at the bottom of their deck. So I know that they got a one K cause I don't want them using this again on a play ability. And now I'm going to go ahead and swing seven. I don't care that I reveal that I don't, or, you know, let them know that I don't have anything. I'm just trying to get cards out of their hand and uh, put pressure on them. We are both, we both now have the same amount of life. Well, we won't, but um, I have a 9K. Let me go ahead and I'll take this one. Okay, cool. Great card to have. All right, setting it up and didn't swing for some reason. Okay. Um, back to 10 and I'm thinking again what to do. I can minus uh, three here. Minus, I can minus three here and pop that. Minus two here, make you a five. And then have two. Or I can start using this one. I think we're going to go ahead and start clearing that field. We want to keep the clear. <laughs> we want to keep the field clear as possible. So we'll go ahead and do that. Pop there. Oh, on KO. Ah, you got a blocker. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather do that than be uh, be harassed. So we're swinging seven. Now we're going to swing nine. And if they want to climb tall to swing at this, which I imagine they will, that's their business. I will give them this 1K to protect it. Uh, but we're, we're going to see how that goes. Okay, look at the top four. 
how they let this motherfucker rise to power. How they let this yonk off be a yonku. All right, so what is he revealing? The card can search itself. Okay. So he had a bunch of buffoonery in this bitch, I guess. I'll go ahead and take that hit. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're going to continue to attempt to be untouchable. Uh, we're going to be dropping this card. Use card action for sure. Uh, there we go. We got four to play with. We're going to use these as counter. And we're just going to start swinging. Uh, we can do nine, eight, nine. So we can swing nine uh, three times. I'm going to do it with minimal. We call this like no dawn investment, right? And then I'll give them one dawn investment. And then now I know that I can get them down to zero. Uh, that's eight and nine. I am, uh, yes, I'm okay with this. Okay, so we got them at zero. I don't believe they have any way of putting, no, they don't have any life manipulation stuff. Uh, they are going to have a lot of cards in their hand, but we have got two big swings that are guaranteed. Uh, I wouldn't be getting rid of blockers. This one is going to stay on the field, I believe, because he has multiple. Yeah. But this game is just about over. Yeah, he did what he can do, and that's that. And he disconnects. Okay, so uh, this was uh, like a little too little too late. Um, and from what I've been playing and what I've been seeing, uh, Buggy continues to be that joke character that at least at f however many episodes I'm in, uh, close to 600. I don't know. Their uh, uh, smoker is in Tashiki's body right now, if that helps. Uh, <laughs> and not the hentai way. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, buggy return to one of your opponent's characters to the bottom of the deck. Then if you do not control five characters with the cost of five or more, return this character to the bottom of the deck. So he's a removal. I see it now. He's a removal. And when you have the conditions met, then he gets to stay and play. I've always seen him just get removed immediately. This is the first time that I've seen him here get to stay, but then he's gone again. Um, and so we had another Linlin. -Lin. You can bet that we were going to play that Linlin -Lin and, gra gra and grab another life. Man, I'm talking so fast. I wish I had an excuse. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And uh, we shall go to the next one. All right. So in the last game, you get to see that pressure. And this game, we are going against Nico Robin. Uh, with that fucking banish equipped, she gives us the pressure. Um, I would like to see a Bond Clay. <laughs> I would have also liked to see some top end, but yeah, seeing Bond Clan on our turn two, you can't complain about that. And we also got a bunch of uh, Koma Sidise. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pass. Typically want to swing big and banish. Um, you know what? If they swung all three at me in this one, Jack, I might just have to take that one up to Keister. I don't even know that I want to get rid of two cards. Um... I, I will. I'll get rid of these two and go ahead and, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get rid of these two. I just really don't want to have to, uh, get a card, go, have a card go straight to the trash if I don't have to, frankly. So, uh, we also want to rush this bitch down, dog. Into the ground. Ah, oh, what? The promo. Damn. Look at this motherfucker. If your opponent has three or more life cards, trash up to one of your opponent's life. Liffle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play. Mm. Oh, we can ramp up too. We never get to do that. And again, bring the funk. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I've never got to do this before. This is so much fun. Okay, so now we do this. Yeah, bitch. There we go. There we go. Pills are good. Pills are good. Okay, they got the ramp again. God bless. They see R9. They are right up there with us. They had the fucking booby nami. I mean, booby robin. I mean, the nipple robin. I mean, the... All right, another banish. Yikes. Okay, so here in this juncture... 
this is what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, we're going to swing. We're going to play him out. We're going to swing here. And then we're going to play him out as well. We'll be 8K, 9K, excuse me, with a blocker. Magnifique. Uh, let's see how it works out. So I'm going to play him. Boom. I am going to swing here. Use card. Yes. Now we're 9K. A la Black Yellow Luffy. It takes a lot. It really does take a lot. Now I'm going to play this out. And I am going to... I'm going to get rid of this. And now I'm going to swing 9. And you're not going to block that. You're going to take that. Now this deck does have ability to add cards back to its life. Uh, via Ace, etc. So we'll see how long this game lasts for me. Okay. So reveal Nami. Okay, they're definitely going to trash that. But if they trash that, if they trash that blocker, that's going to, if they play her out, that's going to put them at a place where they can only possibly, they can't swing that many times. So they can add two here, add three here. So they can swing twice at me now. And I'll just block that one. I'll block whatever this one does if I can. If not, it's okay. Because we're looking to clean them up on the next round. They do have a blocker. And he's at 5k. Okay. Oh. They didn't want to get rid of my value. A. Eh? If I get no Tama. I'm calling it right now. If I get no Tama, that's going to be lit. Uh, Yeah, I can't do nothing here. So let him go. Okay, I get another white beard. That's interesting. We can drop. I said we drop white beard. We swing and we swing and we call it a day. We got this to keep us healthy. So we're going to go ahead and swing eight into here. Give me a blocker. Give me some cards. Give me a life. Okay, cool. Trigger, trigger, no trigger. Cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and swing here. Give me, they're probably going to give me the blocker. I doubt they're going to come out of can with that. Yeah, okay, cool. Now they're on the clock. Um, I'm thinking they could have an ace, put a life back, swing into me. Uh, in which case, I would do that. Uh, hmm... Am I willing to banish if I banish a card? He can't go for lethal and all they have is seven. I'm going to let her go. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst at all. If we get a shanks, boy, we big city poppy. They might have wanted to swing here. Okay. What could they have? Uh, They could have some kind of blocker. And uh, they're going to swing nine again. We know that. We know that they're going to swing nine. They could swing ten. But we got that covered right there. Uh, we don't survive another turn. So let's go ahead and take and see what we can. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot they had banish. Fuck. Yeah, I forgot they had banish. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, resolve attack. And that's that. And that's the game. Yeah. Swing 10. And we got it. Uh, they they had some counter in their hand. They're ready for a rematch. I'm not ready for a rematch. I'll just put GG's. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. So now we got a purple Luffy uh, list. Uh, very interesting. I'm assuming it's going to be a very interesting match. Uh, so we like Bond Clay, but we're going to go ahead. Since we're going first, we're going to mully. And we do get, we get it right here. So we're good to go. We got, we got some counter. We got some top in. We are happy. We're going to play this out. Uh, give them a chance to play out a card that will give us, uh, that'll give us a 6K attacker. And then we'll play this out and then we'll ramp. Here we go. Give me some 6K action. Thank you so much. Active, active, sexually active. Uh, now we got four. Oh my God, though. And I could play his bitch ass out too. Hmm. No, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that because if I swing here for nothing, I go up to seven. Uh, now let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's swing seven and eight. Put big pressure on him. Yeah, we'll put big pressure on them. 
Because we know what he likes to do. Oh, he took that. Okay. And yeah, now we're going to swing nine. He's going to have to think really soon. Do I want to give up this blocker or give up my... Yeah, so he's basically given up his whole gimmick at this point. Because uh, if he takes a life, he's going to get fucked. So, yeah. Okay, but he's, he's gone wide. He's gone wide. He's got to do that. That's cool. No, it's cool. It's cool. All right. Um, at this juncture, I'm thinking about playing out Rayleigh and minusing three, popping, minusing two, making you a six, or ma making that. Yeah, and then we'll take that one. So we'll play out Rayleigh. Correct. Correct. We'll play out Rayleigh. Minus three here. Minus two there, pop, and then we're just going to swing uh, seven and eight at his life. Wait, I'm at ten, yeah. Cool. And so what we did was he's going to want to develop with all of this, right? Or unless he wants to swing six, and then I'll just give him that, right? So we made this character ineffective, and now I'm okay with taking this hit. It's high time I take a hit, right? And whatever he wants to do after that is his business. So we do see him running the Kaido action. He doesn't feel comfortable Kaidoing. Uh, this is impervious to Kaido, which is great. And now I can do a couple of things. I can... Is this the KO? No, that's the turn sideways. I can play this out. Or I can put this... Yeah, I can play this out as well. Draw a card. Bing, a bong, a boom. I think I'm going to white beard. I think I'm going to white beard here. And I'm going to swing eight twice. And the reason why is because we're going to get rid of these blockers right here. And anything else he sets up, we're going to fuck him too. Yeah, okay. So now he's got to give me big investments uh, from everybody to, with the exception of that card. But I can just do that there. Uh... Anything else, I'm, with the exception of Kaido, I'm pretty good. We'll see what he wants to do. Okay, another blocker. And that doesn't do anything for me. Okay, cool. Now we can run our play. Y'all ready? Okay, um, I can get rid of this blocker and then swing three times. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to play this out. Select one down to return. Select one card to trash. I think I'm going to trash this card, yeah. I'm going to gain a life. And I can put him at the bottom. And then I know that he doesn't got shit. Or I can put him there and know that, you know, I got another. He'll have to spin five again to play him out. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add him to the bottom. And then let's... Uh, I don't think I need to save one here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's my other thing. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that's what I do. Then I play him out, add another card, select one the trash. Mm. Think I'm gonna have to. I got enough bigs. I think I just want counter now. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing six, eight, and ten. Okay. Do you have eight? Okay, and do you have 10? Okay. So what this is setting it up for is now they're probably going to want to swing into these guys. Yeah, I imagine. And um, I'm going to no blocker. Or should I block as soon as I can? Because if he's swinging with no Dawn, he probably has a Kaido. I'm going to go ahead and just block right out the gate. Yeah, that was good because, exactly, that's probably all they could do without a Dawn investment this turn. Sucks that he does draw a card, but uh, yeah, so we're, we're dealing with a full-powered uh, Luffy at this point. Am I okay with letting him go? If I let him go, nah, fuck that. I'm going to give him, I'm going to trash out for both because then they can't get rid of anything and all they can do is give me cards. And they, exactly. So you guys saw how I did that. Uh, we we're gonna get Yasa up. And that was that was gonna be a fucking trash ass last life. 
So what happened here was um, he wanted to swing here. He wanted to have it at least, you know, uh, just three swings. And I recognized that. And I said, hell no, we won't go. Because if you guys swing six into my leader one more, you know, twice, that's cool. Give me two more cards. I don't give a fuck. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing big at you four more times. And you don't have a blocker established. And you have one, two, three, four, five. 5k in hand so if i swung nine you know the mayor and the man i take that and you know i was just gonna clap him up after that so uh man you know i don't know dog that's three up three down like fucking only editing i'm doing is cutting out between the shit uh and that weird part where everybody wanted to play nico robin but uh let's take it back over okay so there you have it i mean bro i got to do what i wanted to do i even got to do a play that like i haven't done too often which makes me kind of feel like yo maybe i should up this and maybe take this out but i do like having the counter um but yeah this play is fucking real between these two the synergy is fucking great right minus one dawn get a dawn back now i got a blocker now i got this and that fucking amazing magnifique uh, you got to see the fucking, it's to die for, the enthusiasm, the facial. It's just perfect. Is that, are those tears? Is that Mokos? I don't know. I don't know. But we do know you go up against somebody and they play a fucking 5K, or excuse me, a 6K blocker. Fucking ramping up Ramp City, dog. Ramp, Ramp City, bitch. And uh, we're able to do that. You're also, uh, obviously, you know, you're, this is your, your, your ramp sweep. So, I mean, dog, you are fucking getting there fast. You got to see this card played out, uh, what it does. You got to see Ray Lee. What, Obviously, if you don't know what Ray Lee does by now, you didn't watch the other videos. Uh, we didn't get to see Shanks. We didn't get to see Shanks played. But this right here, gang, is why I have arrived at the 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 and three. Because, like they say, if you don't care if you see it in the game, one copy. If you don't mind if you see it until the late game, maybe two copies, maybe three. That's when we're that's when we're in that territory, right? If you want to for sure see it in the late game, you, you rock three. If you want to see it in your opening hand, you gotta have it four. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm running these because like they they don't all do the same thing. They definitely don't all do the same thing. I mean, this is clearing and popping and, 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 and like stabilizing the board, right? Insulating us from further attacks. Uh, this is just minusing one across the board. This is giving us plus two, you know. Um, this is giving us a whole other fucking life and removing a threat. But they're all game-breaking cards in my opinion. In my opinion, all of all of these cards, they do something great. And this one is just outside of that cusp of immediate value, even though this does give you immediately plus one. But there are certain situations where you're not ready to play it yet. As you saw in the last game, I didn't play it when I could have actually got rid of it in favor of, I believe I had these two cards out and I just wanted that counter. And sure enough, having that counter is what kept Ray Lee out there and the reason why they wound up forfeiting because then of all, all the swings. So we get there super fast. We get there and uh, we, we get there fast and then we come hard. We get there fast and hard. And w when we are able to use this captain kid and then play him out and have a 9K leader, fucking done, son. So uh, this is how we are able to get away with being a three, uh, a three life leader, having uh, 12 cards be fucking Brick City, actually a lot more than 12. But I mean, the consistency is there. I can't fucking make this up for you guys. I really can't make it up. Uh, you know, just eight two Ks and, and a hell of a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> um, really been fucking with this deck really love this deck and uh, I'll give you my 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 list that has Rogers so if you want to fuck with that you can have fun with that as well give me a second all right guys so here's the list that includes gold D Roger uh, as you can see we go over there's no there's no Zoros there's four Sanjis all that other shit we'll we'll get into that but just let me talk about this gold D Roger card okay so it is dope I love it it's a lot of fun a great win condition etc uh, you are a leader that is already at three life. So you get down to zero really fast, easy, etc. However, um, 
I found myself more likely to have my opponent at zero life than myself, right? Um, and at that stage of the game, like you saw in these games earlier, I'm already going for game. I'm already going for game. Their board is already in disarray or they don't have any blockers because they're using them as soon as they can. Um, and so this, this, this card turned into a card that takes all 10 of my uh, Dawn, unless I have Kid. And it's, it's, a, it's a little tough. It's a little tough because it's, its value is a rush. But outside of that, it's just a rush. It's just the strongest rush card in the game. And that sounds stupid to say just, but I mean, like Homeboy is right behind him in terms of, you know, raw power, but minus one across the board. You know what I'm saying? Uh, still has rush. So I think this was a great card. It is a great card. Um, I have won games with it. Uh, but I just think for, for this deck in particular, I like having the Charlotte Linlin. Uh, I feel like this is probably even almost MVP status. Uh, you got to see why because of this play right here is insane. Getting another life is insane because then you're becoming a four dawn leader, which is not meant to be. You are not meant to be a four dawn leader. Okay, like this card is purple. Why? Why? Why are we giving purple life manipulation? You see what I'm saying? Like, let's take advantage of the busted ass busted shit, you know? Um, still got to love Goldie Roger, though. Still got to love Goldie Roger. Those are just my thoughts for this deck in particular. I feel that it's a little more value to get out a nine and a blocker, draw a card, draw a card bottom life a card you know what i'm saying i just feel there's a little more value at that than to let's get there and let's just start swinging and let's hope that they don't have any answers to anything because uh it's easier to pop this card than it is anything else and and one thing i learned playing black and yellow luffy is that 10 drop kuzan was not the answer to every situation because you play them and they get popped in the same fucking round and you know now what do you want to do well i guess i'll go get fucked you know what i'm saying so Goldie Rogers, great. You know, he's the strongest card in the game off the rip. Uh, I still say he's Luffy's dad. I don't care what the I don't care what the 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 actual art is, uh, arc is, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's why he's not included. So this is our list instead, and we love it. Uh, notes, I would love to hear him, guys. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe, I don't know if I want to get rid of Sanji because he turns a blocker sideways and swings for life, you know, so that's big. If I already have any bigs established, it's big to drop him, uh, turn somebody sideways, swing for seven, uh, swing for, you know, if I have, especially if I'm already at 10, I can swing seven, 10, you know, 10, 10, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? I can go crazy. Uh, but anyhow, that's the deck right now. That's what I'm fucking with. I feel like it's crazy consistent. I feel like we got uh, more than enough counter and stuff to stay alive. Anyway, so that's the list and I'm sticking to it. That's the gist of the list, if you will. Um, I would love to hear what you guys got to say. So do smash that like button. Uh, finger that subscribe. <laughs> and uh, let me know in the comments below. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What would you be doing differently? I, I know some guys out here, my, my RP Luffy guys, since the last video, man, we, we were having fun. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys are coming up with. And uh, this is what was, this is my tech right now. So I will see you guys in the next one. This has been Murado Music with Three Piece TCG, Big Beard TCG. Flows like a faucet, swag dripping like a faucet, Dooney fixing, got Luffy ambition, king of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action, they actually fiction.